Welcome everybody. This is Carl back again with more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. This character profile deck will be about Duman from Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexo and his Star Seraph cards. Now, uh, some of these cards you've seen before I had to add it to another uh, character's deck to fill it out a little bit. I think it was uh, Vector. But we'll go over again just for uh, uh, just to go over his deck. Rima's has got like uh, kind of like constellations, stars, that kind of thing. Uh, basically, his deck. And in Yu Gi Oh! Zexo, he's pretty much like in his in the Barian world, he was like a knight uh, that you know was killed by his own uh, soldiers for like trying to do something. You know, I, I think uh, that's hard to remember, but basically, he beat somebody, he didn't want to kill them because. He was down, there's none, you know, there's no point. But then his, you know, uh, own troops, I could be misremembering that part, but I do know his own troops turned against him, killed him, uh, despite the valiant fight he put up. But it was Don Thousand who's corrupted his, once again, corrupted uh, another person's factions or the individual uh, in to turn him into one of his minions. But he corrupted his soldiers, caused them to kill him, so he'll be reborn as a Baryan warrior. And fun fact, this is the only character that never had to duel Yuma, which I thought that was interesting. Anyway, uh, let's go over his cards. Cards from the sky. Remove from play one fairy, one life fairy type monster in your hand and draw two cards. You cannot special summon or conduct your battle phase the turn you activate this card. Electrical transformation. Special summon one fairy type monster from your hand. That monster's attack is halved and is destroyed during the end phase. Rank up magic the seventh one. To activate this card, you must draw it for your normal draw in your draw phase. Reveal it and keep it revealed until the start of main phase one. At the start of main phase one, that same turn, you can special summon from your extra deck or graveyard one monster that has a number between 101 and 107 in its name. Except number C monsters, then XC summon from your extra deck one number C monster with the same number in its name as the first monster by using it as, a, as the XC's material. You can only apply this effect once per turn. Rank up Magic Barriance Force. Uh, you already know what that does, but let's go over again. Target one face up XC's monster. Your you control special summon them from your extra deck. One number C or X uh, XC's monster with the same type as the monster you control, but one rank higher by using it, it as the XC's material. Then, if possible, detach one XC's material from a monster your opponent controls and attach it to the special summon monster as the XC's material. Uh, Sargasso Lighthouse. When a spell effect that would inflict damage to you is activated, you take no damage from that effect while this card is in your graveyard. You take no damage from the effect of Sargasso the DD Battlefield. When this set card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one Sargasso the DDD battlefield from your deck to your hand. The gas of the DD battlefield. Each time a monster is sec XE summoned, the summon player takes 500 damage. During each player's end phase, the turn player takes 500 damage if they control a phase of XE's monster. Star Seraph Sage. Once per turn, you can send one spell card from your hand to the graveyard. Spells will summon one Star Seraph monster from your hand. Star Seraph Scale. When this card is spells will summon, you can spells will summon one Star Seraph monster from your hand. Then you can place one light monster from your graveyard on top of your deck. 
an Xyz monster that was summoned using three or more monsters, including this card, on the field as Xyz materials gains this effect once per turn while this card is has Xyz material. If a monster is supposed to summon from the hand, immediately draw one card. Star Seraph Scepter. When this card is no more or supposed to summon, you can add one Star Seraph monster from your deck to your hand, except Scepter. An Xyz monster that was summoned using three or more monsters, including this card on the field as Xyz materials gains this effect. When it's when it is XC summoned, you can target one other card on the field, destroy it, and if you do, you can draw one card. Star Self Scout. When this card is normal summoned, you can special summon one Star Self monster from your hand. Star Self Sovereignty. Sovereignty. Cannot be used as a seized material for an XC summon, except for an XC summon that uses three or more monsters as XC's materials. If you if you normal or are supposed to summon a star self monster except during the damage step you can't supposed to summon this card from your hand and if you do draw one card then you can supposed to summon it if it is a star self monster star self sword once per turn you can send one star self monster from your hand to the graveyard this card gains attack equal to the original attack of the sent monster until the end phase star self 102 uh, one, number 102 Star Seraph Sentry requires three or light monsters uh, to summon. Once per turn, you can detach one Xyz material from this card and target one face of monster your opponent controls. F is attack, also negate its effects. This face of card on the field will be destroyed. You can detach all XC, all of its Xyz materials instead. If you do, any damage you take this turn is halved. And number C102 Archfiend Seraph. If this face up card would be destroyed, you can detach two Xyz materials from this card instead. If the last Xyz material is detached from this card, inflict 1500 damage to your opponent. If this card has number 102 Star Self Sentry as an Xyz material, it gains this effect. Once per turn, you can detach one Xyz material from this card and target one face up monster your opponent controls. Change that target's attack to zero, and if you do, negate its effects. Okay. Let's go ahead and try this out. Try something relatively simple. After this, we pretty much got like two more character profiles to go through Chumley and Griger. That's what y'all struggling to remember the other character, but yeah, Griger is the next one, then Chumley is gonna be last. Probably gonna take a break before we do the eventually the a big long video with all the main protagonist decks and then the rivals, best friends, villains, female protagonists. Uh, someone. Thank 
afraid that was going to drag on a bit. I gotta say, it's relatively easy to you know, get uh, your Xyz monsters on the field. You gotta count on making sure that uh, the deck is set in a way that it allows you to Quickly summon many monsters on the field with the same level. Oh. 
again. Oh, 
again. Thought she would have like no entry as the face down card. Serves are not that bad. But it just doesn't have that much support cards to it, at least not yet. The first time I actually got the second one. Probably the first time I actually can use seventh one for anything. Surprise, surprise, surprise.
today those videos are gonna be relatively short i mean like Dumont is cool but it's not like something like i right, really feed into uh really i mean it's useful parts but and yeah look at all this like i have to like pat it out just a bit here there's not much support for the star seraphs which is kind of unfortunate because it is like a decently good uh archetype but just uh, not enough to like at least not in real life that is uh relatively make this deck even more useful than it already is i mean uh the um raid raptors have more support in this uh in this game than the star seraph but then again dumon i don't think dumon dual well no he dual like a decent amount but just it wasn't so significant where it was like an urgency to get his actual cars made in real life or added added to this game so anyway yeah next week we'll be doing griger's deck and once again he probably doesn't have that much support cards in his game so i'm gonna have to do some deep cut research on that just to at least try try out his deck so uh stay in tune i will see you guys soon uh don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe all that good stuff to talkative carl on youtube twitch twitter and don't forget to check out the patreon as www.patreon.com slash talkative carl yeah yeah definitely see you guys soon take care